Hi guys, welcome back to Cooking with the Salmons and this is Greg. Now today I'm going to be teaching you exactly how I make my Bailey's ice cream. Alright? Now I had a recent event and I made some Bailey's ice cream and everyone was amazed, everyone liked it, everyone was asking exactly how I make the Bailey's ice cream. I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do that right now. Alright? Well, before we do that, let's go ahead and subscribe to our channel. Hit that post notification bell as well so you'll be notified each time we post. Alright? So, without further delay, let's get started. Okay guys, so these are the ingredients that we're using for our Bailey's ice cream. Alright? So, we have our Bailey's here. Alright? Original Bailey's. We have some vanilla. We have the heavy whipping cream. And we have a can of condensed milk. All right, now for the amount that I'll be making, we're gonna use two cups of the heavy whipping cream. We're gonna be using one can of condensed milk. We're gonna be using a cup of Baileys and I'm gonna be using just a, just a tablespoon of vanilla. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so first we're gonna go ahead with our two cups of heavy whipping cream. All right, so to that, I'm gonna go ahead and just add our vanilla. All right, so next, I'm gonna go ahead and whip this to stiff peaks, all right? So first, I'm gonna go ahead and um, start whipping it on low and gradually increase the speed. Okay guys, so now that we have achieved the right consistency, I'm gonna go ahead now and add our other ingredients. All right, so first I'm gonna go ahead and add the Baileys. I'm gonna be adding one cup, all right? Now, the, the Baileys is mainly for the flavoring and not as a means of getting drunk, so one cup is good enough and we're gonna add that in um, intervals all right because we don't want the alcoholic content to be too high thus preventing the ice cream from um, freezing properly so we're gonna just go ahead and add some and go ahead and whisk it in Okay, as you can see, it has that wonderful Bailey's color. Consistency is smooth and nice. It smells really great. It smells exactly like Bailey's and it's gonna taste exactly like Bailey's 
It's just not gonna be as strong as Bailey's, all right? This one is not for the kids, guys. This one is for the adults who would like to indulge in a decadent um, treat now and again, now that the time is getting warm, all right? So this is the perfect, perfect adult treat. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and just mix it out a little bit more. Next thing I'm gonna add is our sweetener, which is the can of condensed milk. All right. Okay guys, so I'm using the entire can based on the amount of ice cream that I'm making. Um, normally I make two, two cups of heavy whipping cream and to that I need one can of condensed milk. All right. Now you know if you're making less then you, you know, use half the amount that I'm using. Okay, so we just go ahead and mix the rest of the condensed milk in. Okay, so here we are. This is all done. It's creamy, it's smooth, and it smells just like Bailey's. Irish cream. If you love Bailey's, you're gonna definitely love this one. All right, so you can go ahead and taste it. And it tastes exactly like Bailey's. Now, you have a choice. If you wanted to um, to put more Bailey's, it's your choice. If you wanna put less, it's your choice. The reason I like to just use one cup because it gives the ice cream a, a nice texture, all right? If you put too much alcohol in your ice cream, it is gonna make your ice cream, uh, your ice cream will be on the softer side than it is on the harder side, all right? Because the alcohol content makes it harder to freeze, all right? So it's your choice if you, you know, you like to use more Baileys in yours, but as it stands now, this is perfect. And I'm gonna go ahead and get this placed in a container and place in the freezer. And that's it. You're, you just need um, four ingredients, technically four ingredients. Your sweetener, which is a condensed milk. Your heavy whipping cream, which is your base. Your Baileys or whatever, whatever um, you know, flavoring you'll be using. And your vanilla. And you're all set. So I'll go ahead and um, put this in a container and get this in the freezer. So we're gonna go ahead and just simply scrape the ice cream mixture into the bowl or into whatever container you'll be using. All right, so you go ahead and just smooth it out. Just make sure it's distributed evenly in the bowl. Okay, it does not have to be perfect, just, just make sure that it's, you know, as smooth as you can get it.
Okay guys, so if you're if you have a container that has a cover, you'll go ahead and just you know cover it, place it in the freezer and you're fine. Um, you could you could also decide to use cling wrap or foil. Alright, I normally use cling wrap. But for this one I'm gonna be using foil, alright? Let's go ahead and put your foil around your con your um, container. All right, and you're all set and ready for the freezer. All right, so I'll go ahead and I'll get this in the freezer and I'll be back to show you exactly what it looks like. All right. Okay guys, so this is our ice cream. It's the um, following day and I've now taken it out of the freezer. I'm gonna go ahead and get some scoops in. Okay, see that creamy goodness, see that texture? This is your Bailey's ice cream. And there you have it, Bailey's ice cream. Now if you gain any knowledge from this video, just go ahead and subscribe to our channel. Hit that post notification bell as well, so you'll be notified each time we post. If you have any other way of making your Bailey's ice cream, or any other method, go ahead and leave it in the comment section so we could discuss it. If there's any other recipe you'd like for us to try, go ahead and leave that in the comment section as well, and we'll be sure to get to it, all right? And until next time, walk good, one love, and big up on yourself.